Right, Ormering on my lunch break. So I haven't got long. I'm gonna only be Ormering for about 45 minutes. Um, it's, it's March, so a lot of, lot, lot of the rocks are gonna have been turned. Um, and uh, this, this place, I, I normally come to it each year. Um, it is my little spot, and there's not many other people come here, which is how I like it. But um, yeah, the, you don't really tend to get the numbers, but sometimes you get some decent size almost. So um, I only need a few. I'm just gonna cook up something a bit different this time. So yeah, it's a bit windy, lots of swell here. Hopefully it won't get wet. And uh, yeah, we'll give it a go. Right. It doesn't look, I, you can never quite tell, but it doesn't look like it's been turned that much. But um, we can only find out by turning the rocks. Get out of the way, Mr. Shanker. Like I say, I haven't got long, so I have to do a bit of a speedy one. Now this looks good. This looks good. Oh, look at that anemone. That's cool. Let's check under the other ones. There's not much around here. Giant lady crab and a little baby top knot. Here he is. Little baby top knot. Tiny little one. My favourite fish. They're just so cool. Right, put you back. Off you go. Well in this area as well. Could have been turned. There's one there. Again, too small. Let's just turn this one. Mate. A bright red Montague crab there. Eh? Yeah, let's check him out. Bright red he is. Yeah. I ate those crabs. Never used to get any. It's like it's an invasive species because you don't get as many shore crabs anymore. Sure, it's because those armour plated things have turned up. Oh, yeah. There's one there. I think it's. I think it's big enough. Let's try the one next to it. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. There's another one. It just shows it's just a it. little area that hasn't been touched. All right. Better measure these. So look. Ooh. Yeah, it's just touching. Just touching if you can see. I know my, me my measure's a bit bent, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, look. Right, well, I've got two. That'll do for them to be soaking wet when I get back to work. Yeah, let me bring this one up. There we go. It's on there. Ugh. Resorting to going in the water now. I wasn't going to do that. Ugh. There is one there. It's too small. <laughs> oh, there's one. A bit too small again. Loop. Oh, yes, that's a decent size one. Another little one there as well, too small. Right. 
few and far between. I don't think that this lot has been done. So we're like, no. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Look at that. Hee <laughs> hee, that's a monster. Oh yeah, ah, nice big one. Let's try these. Oh yeah, they're on there. Well, I don't know if he's big enough. I think he is. Oh my god, <laughs> I, just see what, I must have turned that rock and not even noticed it was there. Oh my god, needs my eyes tested. There's another one. <laughs> Can't believe that. There's one. I think it's big enough. I will check him. And there's one. See him see him underwater? I don't know if you can see it. It's quite a decent one. There we go. So have a look. So, in my basket I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, is that it? Yeah, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I bet you this isn't big enough. And if not, I'll have to go and find another one. Oh, it's so close. But I don't think so. No, he's not in. Whee. Right. Well, I've got nine, which is more than enough. Still on there, look. Ten. Oh. Just shows you don't need to go right into, out into the water. Nice big warmer. Well, I, I stayed a bit later than I should have done as well, so I've been here just over an hour. And I got 10, which is fine. I mean, to say it's such a big tide is not very not very good, but there's quite a big swell down here, so, um, and it has been turned a bit. But anyway, I'm happy with that. Uh, and I'm gonna see if I can cook up something a little bit different. <laughs> this gets boring doing the same thing over and over again with warmers, but uh, yeah, so I've got, uh, I've got about 10, I think. I think I've got 10. Right, so I actually had um, 11 almonds in the end. I had one in my pocket, and it's, there's always a danger with putting them in your pockets because I've done it before where you've, uh, you find them two weeks later and it's not pleasant, I can assure you. Uh, so today, anyway, we're going to be making um, all my cakes. I normally casserole them or fry them, but I thought I'd try something different. And uh, yeah, I don't mean like a, a Victoria sponge cake or anything stupid like that. Uh, so it's a bit like a fish cake. Um, so yeah, I'm going to blend them up. I haven't, I've, beat, I've beaten them like I normally would because I don't want to wreck my food processor. Um, but yeah, and then mix them with some ingredients, fry them up in uh, breadcrumbs and see how they go and see what they taste like. I've no idea what they're going to be like.
Right, so we've got um, the beaten almonds, some uh, red pepper and, and some red onion, some egg, breadcrumbs, lime, lemon and orange zest, some lemon, lime and orange juice, some chopped chives, some spice which includes a Old Bay seasoning and um, salt and pepper and all sorts of stuff in there and then some sour cream. Um, so yeah, gonna blend it all up together. like it doesn't <laughs> doesn't look very appetizing and doesn't smell amazing either um, and it's yeah there's still little bits in there I think I better get what I'll do is I'll put some of the I was thinking blend it for a little bit more and then start adding ingredients which should make it blend up even more It's getting there. I need a bigger processor. I should have uh, I should have chopped up the uh, the onions and the pepper separately. I think. <coughs> right. Check this out. Doesn't this look appetising? It does. It looks like a bit like taramasalata salata with bits in it. So anyway. Uh, going to combine the next bits in, so we've got the chives, let's go in, and the zest, make sure that's all mixed up, and the seasoning. and the breadcrumbs. All right. Let's give this a bit of a mix. And then, oh, sour cream, I've got sour cream. There's still a few big bits of pepper in there. That was my mistake, that, but it'll be alright. Won't make much of a difference. Now, I'm just going to add a bit of the juice in. Do you want it to still be a bit wet? Uh, you don't want it to be um, incorporated because you, do, you want it to still be able to form sort of patties out of it. So if you want it too wet, so I'm just going to... That's good. Uh, that can be fine. Right. And there we go. Right, so I've had the, uh, the mixture chilling in the fridge for a couple of hours and I've taken it out and uh, formed some sort of uh, balls, golf ball sized um, patties and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, um, we're gonna try them out tonight. I've got my daughter over and we're gonna try them out. So um, no one else is brave enough to do it. So I'm going to flatten these to make to make a patty, um, wrap them in panko bread breadcrumbs, and then put them in a bun with sweet chilli sauce. 
So um, yeah, let's give it a go. So these are the uh, the Orma cakes, and uh, I'm just going to flatten them out down like this. Need to get them sort of so that they're I don't know half an inch thick so that they cook properly. And uh, yeah, they're all breaking up a little bit. Hopefully, I've got the mixture right. So I'll just, we're just going to do two and save the rest. Depends what they're like, I suppose. So I'll just flatten them out a bit. Right. Right. So I've got some panko breadcrumbs in the bowl. So I'm just going to be careful to try and keep these t this all together. So just going to coat them in panko. And then I've, what I've got is I've got some um, rapeseed oil in a pan. For any Americans watching, that's uh, canola oil. And let's just do the other one. Okay, so hopefully the pan's hot enough. It should be. Now this should be interesting. Because uh, it's not on a full night. Put quite a lot of oil in there just to make sure that it cooks properly. Get it all crispy. I think it's burnt. It doesn't smell very nice. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to pat all the um, excess oil. Right, so we've got some nice brioche buns with uh, sweet chilli sauce. <laughs> well, they look nice. I'm not sure about the smell, but we'll try. Right. So here with my daughter Kiki, who's over for dinner tonight, <laughs> giving her nice Alma burgers. Uh, so we're going to give it a try. And um, uh, you're not um, you're not that keen on Alma, are you? No. So um, it's not probably not a very good test, really. But uh, but we'll I'm, give it a I'm go. willing to try it. I'm the only one that is. So yeah. So Maybe. let's try it. Yeah. Go on. Then. really nice. It is good. <laughs> it's actually like very nice. Yeah. It is nice, huh? Mm. Mm. I'm very impressed. Mm. I don't think it tastes like that. No, not me. It didn't smell like that. It smelled awful. No. Wow. Mm. That's pretty good, eh? Mm -hmm. I'd definitely have that again. Yeah, me too. That's so nice. Mm. I'm so shocked. I know. It's got, um, Lemon and stuff in it. Yeah, you can taste it. It's citrusy. Yeah, oh, it's, it's good. That's actually really nice. That's a that's a real hit. Definitely going to do my almas like yeah. that in the future. Oh mm. my god, that's really nice. Cool. Right. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like the video, please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Mm. I'm so impressed. Hmm. It's good, eh? Really nice. I think it's like restaurant worthy nice. It is. Mm. I'm definitely doing this. Oh, it's, mm. a, it's a bit of a pain, really, because they're such an effort to make. Mm, it's, like, sure. it's almost like a Thai sweet chilli burger. Yes, that's what it's like. That's what it's like, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's because we've got the sweet chilli sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> that might be right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>